What's up YouTube? This is Shabazz and I'm back with another video. What's up to all my can of sewers? Hope you're staying healthy, hope you're staying safe. Welcome back to another video. Today we have a really special, cool and unique video for you guys. But first, you already know, I gotta give a shout out to all my patrons over on Patreon. Shout out to Jesha, Angie, Wayne, Chris, Joel, Ganja Gav, Southern Hope, Nathaniel, JB, Alex B, and Fred. And remember the benefits of joining my Patreon, you get to see everything early, every time I get mail, new flower, new products, any new developments to the channel, new merch designs, hemp news, genetics, all of that stuff. You get access to exclusive Patreon only giveaways. You get an exclusive discount code to the Merch and the Legal Clothing Co. You get a shout out on every video and you get to feel really good about helping out the channel. If you wanna join my Patreon, the link is in my landing page, which is down in the video description. All right, y'all, so today I wanna to introduce you to something that I've been working on for a while i've been putting a lot of love into it a lot of time into it if you're on my patreon if you follow me on instagram you already know what i'm talking about and if you don't follow me on instagram you're missing out on a lot i post almost every day there i interact with my followers a lot make sure you mess with me on instagram but anyways i've been talking about this for a while it's been a long time coming and i'm happy to introduce to you shabazz moon rocks now, interesting story about the moon rocks. I never intended on making these myself. A few months ago on Instagram, I kind of put a general call out to all the vendors and saying, hey, there's no good CBD moon rocks on the market. Any moon rocks that there has been was like B grade flour, dipped in distillate and then covered with keef, just a cheap kind of cut corner, shiesty kind of way to do it. Not anything truly top shelf with indoor flour, some sort of a good actual concentrate and not a distillate. I said, if somebody makes it, you know, I can't wait to try it. Nobody made it. One day I started talking to one of my subscribers just about general hemp stuff, what type of strains they like, what type of strains I like, the culture, this and that. Um, and I posted again on my story about the fact that nobody has come up with any good top shelf CBD moon rocks yet. He saw my story and he basically said to me, hey, I can help you make that happen. So this was a subscriber and a fan of the channel who happens to run this big professional cannabis production facility. And he offered to help me put this together and distribute it to the masses. So if you look on the label, it says powered by pharma extracts. And a huge shout out to Pharma Extracts and a huge shout out to Patrick. Um, these would not be a thing right now without him and Pharma Extracts. They really helped me make it in a timely manner and do it exactly the way I wanted. And the way I wanted it was, like I said, I wanted top shelf stuff. I didn't want no B grade flour. I didn't want last year's flour. I didn't want outdoor flour and I didn't want any distillate. I wanted top shelf fresh harvest flour and a good quality hemp concentrate. So these moon rocks are made out of top shelf indoor hemp kush, okay? I sourced the kush directly from the breeder and the grower, Zoe Therapeutics, and all of the Bubba Kush and Bubba Kush phenols and everything that we have now are thanks to Zoe Therapeutics, but they also have their own indoor grows that they, they do make some flower. I got the flower directly from them, so directly from the breeder and the grower. Then the flower is dipped in live resin. And you already know where I went to for the live resin. I went straight to Sauce Warehouse. If you watch my channel, you already know Sauce Warehouse is a legit outfit for the hemp concentrates. After it's got that live resin on it, it's covered in keef. And the keef comes straight from Horn Creek Hemp. And everybody loves Horn Creek Hemp Keef, so you know I had to do it. So this is not something that was already being manufactured or made, and I just bought it wholesale and stuck my label on it. Nothing like that. I personally handpicked, curated, and sourced all of the raw materials in here. And it's being manufactured, put together in bulk, and distributed thanks to Patrick and Pharma Extracts. Also, I want you all to check out this label really quick because I designed this label by hand. As you know, I design all my own merch and logos and everything like that. Um, I really wanted the label to reflect my LA roots. So it's got kind of the LA uh, hood, South Central, not really a skyline, but the silhouette. You got the, the buildings and the houses with the palm trees and the power lines uh, and a sunset. And it kind of goes up, you see the stars and then bam, Shabazz Moon Rocks right there. So this is not a low effort project, okay? I put a lot into this. 
I just really wanted to make something that's popular in the type one recreational world that we haven't had in the hemp world because you know one thing I want to do with the CBD type three hemp community and industry is make sure that all of the cool products that is available for adult use recreational marijuana is also available for us. And that's where Shabazz Moon Rocks come in. And yeah, I'm not making these in my kitchen or anything. Everything is being put together, packaged and shipped by a experienced professional hemp facility. All right, let me actually show you some moon rocks. Okay, and some quick things to touch on about the moon rocks. First of all, one thing a lot of people are asking me, is this a high THCA product? Is this type one, type two, type three, will it get you high? No, this is a all type three product. So the flower is type three CBD Kush. The concentrate is type three CBD concentrate made from hemp flower. And the keef is keef made from hemp flower. This is all a type three product. As of the day I'm recording this, the final COAs have not come in. We have COAs obviously for all of the individual materials that have gone into it but it's an estimated about 40 to 50 percent CBD around 2 percent total THC so while these are potent as far as hemp flower goes it's not gonna get you high it's not a high THCA product or anything like that all right let's get into it and I'm wearing gloves just to be you know professional I want this to be done right and let me show y'all inside the jar first so it's a glass jar and everything and uh, when you crack it open that's what you're gonna see each jar is 3.5 grams or an eighth. This one nug right here is over one and a half grams by itself. Um, it is heavy because of that live resin and the keef that's on top of it. So as you see, you can't even see the flower. I mean, you can make out the shape of a nug, but it's completely coated in live resin and then completely covered in that good keef. Let me actually bring y'all in. Let's break this open. All right, and you see inside, you got that top shelf kush, and that live resin is soaked into the outside and it's coated in the keef. Now, if you compare and contrast the way this looks on the inside to marijuana moon rocks, like I said, those are made with hash oil, and hash oil is like almost black. As where I use live resin, and live resin is like a nice gold color, so you're not gonna have that like black smoke ring around the outside of the buds. All right, so let me bring you all in a little bit closer. Let's look at the rolling tray. You can see the inside of the flower. We can look at a rock up close. You can see, I mean, it's self-explanatory, all right? You got flower, you got live resin, and then you got keef for an ultra uh, nice, dank, potent experience. All right, and the next question that a lot of people are asking is how do I smoke this? If you've never used moon rocks before, there's different ways to smoke them. You could break it up and put it in a bowl, like in a bong or a bubbler, smoke it like that. You could break it up with your hands, which it might be sticky to do that. You could give it a light grind in a grinder for a blunt, or you could give it a more fine grind in a grinder for a joint. And if you have a good vaporizer, like I have the Crafty Plus, or if you have the Mighty or a tabletop unit, something that really packs a punch and can get hot enough, you can enjoy this in a vaporizer. So let me demonstrate that to y'all right now. So I'm gonna break some of it down and I'm gonna show you how to smoke it in each way I just described. All right, so I broke some of it down, I have it in the bowl. And I think that for a lot of people, this is gonna be the easiest option is just to smoke it down in a bong or a bubbler. The crazy thing about the moon rocks is Although the smoke is really rich because you're getting the smoke from the flower, you're getting the live resin that just vaporized while you're inhaling it. And then you have the keef on top and keef is uh, traditionally a little bit harsh to smoke. This is really smooth though. Really rich smoke, thick smoke, but it's smooth, it's easy to get down, and it has a nice, unique taste to it. The taste is a combination of the kush from the flower, but that it, it, there's, there's a little bit of a, that Febreze um, sourness that's coming from the live resin, and then the keef gives it a little bit of a fruitiness. I also got some ready in my crafty, just so I could show y'all, you could vape this as well. Oh wow. Really interesting flavor in the vaporizer. You get a little bit of that Kush flavor 
but then you get a really strong pine flavor. Very forward, very prominent kush and pine flavor out of the vaporizer. The terpenes are prominent, the terpenes are there, and very much distinct from the smoke. And as I mentioned, you can also roll this in a joint or a blunt. I have a joint right here. You really taste the key from the joint. Again, rich smoke. Get a really rich smoke because uh, you got that live resin and that keef mixing in with what would normally just be flour. And the smell of the smoke is dank, okay? It's really dank. So yeah, these make for a really nice joint or a really nice blend. Now you may be watching this and asking yourself, why should I get moon rocks? It seems like a novelty. It is kind of a novelty, but if you're a person like me who enjoys flour, who enjoys good concentrate, and also keef or hash, something like that, this combines all of those elements into one thing. And that's really the appeal. Even for the original marijuana moon rocks, uh, you're combining concentrate with flour plus keef for uh, an ultra potent experience. Now, obviously marijuana moon rocks get you incredibly, extremely high because you are combining all those elements. Now this is not gonna get you high, but just as far as hemp products go, it's gonna give you a nice potent buzz. The effects are going to be indica leaning and it gives a really nice warm body buzz, okay? This is the kind of product that you're gonna to wanna to use when you get off of work, when you come home after a long day, you wanna sit down, you wanna relax on the couch, you're about to eat a meal. This is a certified Netflix and chill thing right here. It's a nice relaxing not super sedating or couch locky or anything like that. It's not gonna put you to sleep, but it is gonna slow you down and bring you down a little bit. And keep in mind, even though there's a decent amount of total THC in here, there's also a lot more CBD. And like I tell everybody, it's all about the ratio. So you're not gonna get high or anything like that. No panic attack. This is not a type one product. Again, this is a type three product. And I'm gonna be honest myself, is moon rocks what I would carry around every day or buy on a regular basis for my regular smoking supply? Probably not. I really like regular flour. However, the moon rocks is great to have when you wanna take things up another level. When you wanna smoke, you wanna dab, and you want a little extra zing to it, but you're too lazy to do all that, you break down a Shabazz moon rock and you're getting all of that experience at once. This is really like you're smoking flour, hash, and taking a dab at the same time. So once again, y'all, this is Shabazz Moon Rocks. They are available now. The link will be in my landing page, which is my video description or my IG bio. You order them online, they're shipped to your house like any other hemp product. For those of y'all that are gonna cop, I really appreciate you. I hope you like them and please leave me feedback. If this product isn't for you, no hard feelings whatsoever. I appreciate you just watching the video and supporting the grind. This is my first foray into any type of actual branded product, a curated product. I wanted to do it right. I wanted to bring something really nice, something really premium for my subscribers, for the connoisseurs out there like me. I am feeling, uh, I'm feeling real nice and soft and cozy right now, actually. So I'm gonna go eat a little bit of something, sit down and watch a little bit of TV and enjoy myself. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. And I sincerely hope that you have an amazing rest of your day and night. Let me know what you think about the moon rocks. I'm gonna catch you on the next video. Peace.